Ask me for references. Yeah, can I get some references? You know, thank you. Uh, yes, absolutely. Thank you, Vic. I'm really glad you did that. I wish more people would ask me for references. You know why? Why? They're my best sales force. The people I've done business with are so happy because they know I took care of them. I got them the best price, the best deal. I protected them. I returned all phone calls. They were so, uh, they're glad to give me references. So I, I appreciate you asking of that. How many would you like? Uh, we'll do three. Now let me give you five. More than okay. In case you can't get hold of somebody, you have some backup numbers. Does that make sense? Sure. And when you speak to these people today, and you have good conversations, and they and they say nice things about me, which I'm pretty sure they will, because uh, like I said, my customers are pretty happy. Uh, what happens when we speak at 4:30 this afternoon, if they meet with your expectations? Um, I don't know. You tell me. I'm sorry, I didn't. Um, you asked for references. I'm giving you references because you want to. You want to check my veracity. You want to make sure you're dealing with an honest, competent business person. Is that correct? Yes. If those people make, if uh, I would presume that if those people meet with your personal expectations, which is why you asked for them, that we would make a commitment to do business. Am I on this? Are we on the same page? Uh, yeah, we're on the same page, but. I mean, the reason I wanted to go for sale by owner was to save on the on the commission. Oh, okay. Well, I can't help you that. I charge the highest commission around. Why do people pay me 7% when everybody else gets 6 Um, I'm, I'm not sure, Take sir. Take a guess. You're a smart young man. I probably do a real good job. I do a great effing job, sir. And that's why they do that. So let me ask you something. So even if you got the best references in the world and I could help you to move your property in the next 30, 60, 90 days, we still couldn't make a we still can't make a commitment uh, today and move forward, can we? Um I mean, here, let, let me ask my wife. I'll think. All right, well, honey, can I is it okay to sell to to sell Vic sell home and get him top dollar and save him a lot of time and my wife said it's okay. So would you rather just say no to me right now, sir? Because a lot of people, when they tell me they have to talk to their wife or think about it, they really just want to say no, and that's all right. We're here to do what's right for you, even if you're making a mistake. We can could, we could go ahead and, and do it, I guess. You guess or you know? Uh, okay, we'll, we'll do it. What? We'll, we'll go ahead and do it. Are you sure you're comfortable? You're not going to call me tomorrow and say you changed your mind, right? No, I mean, if you're going to get the household, we'll, we'll go ahead and... That's and great. Why don't I take you and your wife out for dinner tonight? Do you like pizza? Sure. I, love, I got a great pizza place. Why don't we meet, get to know each other, so I want you to feel better about this. I'll bring some paperwork. We'll have a nice dinner on me, okay, a nice bottle of wine, and then we'll get to and we'll get to selling this house. Does that sound fine? Okay, sounds good. You're a gentleman, sir. See you at 630, right? Yep. Boom. So got to fight for it. <laughs> And you don't, you don't take shit for the, the salesman always comes first. And Max, my mentor, used to always say, it's not fuck me, it's fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> he used to say it with a big smile on his face. You know, you got to fight for it, man. You, and you don't take their shit. You know how they're always throwing shit at you, garbage? Yeah. You, got, you can't, you've got to be the adult in the room. You, even though you want to slug them. You don't get emotionally involved. Give me some garbage they give you. This is a good role play. Give me the gar. Give me, <laughs> gi give me the worst garbage you they've ever given you. Give me the junk that you get. Why are you calling me? I don't know. I'm wondering the same thing myself, sir. <laughs> um, I, I don't have time. To, I don't like talking to you guys. You, guys I, always... you know what? My wife says that every morning to me. <laughs> you know, the problem remains, sir, that you got a house. Why are you selling your house, sir? Before I go, I know you want to leave, but. Why are you even selling this house? Uh, I just want to cash out. Suppose I told you I have John and Mary over here want, looking for a house. They're qualified. They want to buy a house right now. Um, would you be? Uh, I'd like to bring them over, but you and I have to establish a business relationship first. And it sounds like you don't like me. I mean, I just you know I just don't like working with realtors. I don't like you know neither do I. <laughs> I, I, I know how you feel. But why do you think I'm the best realtor in this county? I mean, probably why do you think I make more home, money? So. Why do you think I make more money in a month than everybody else makes in one to two years? Probably get the home sold. 
I get the home sold, sir. I make people happy. I follow up. I return calls. I use social media marketing. We put up great pictures, videos. We put your house in the 21st century. We get the results that you're looking for. You're dealing with a professional now, not just someone who's going to throw it in the MLS. Do we want to go move forward and get that house possibly sold in the next 30 days, or should I get out of here and leave you alone? Sure, we can go ahead and do that. Are you sure you weren't? You were a little. You sounded like you were a little mad at me before, and I don't. I don't. I. I uh, tell me what I did wrong so I can make it right. Can I, I take? Know, that's fine. Me, we could go. Let's. Uh, I'll tell you what. How about you? How about I take you and your wife out for uh, lunch this tomorrow afternoon on me? Okay. What's your favorite place? You like Chinese? Sure. You like dim sum? You like uh, new? Oh, do you like the dumpling? You like dumplings? Yeah. Let me take you and your wife. I'll pick you up, introduce myself. We'll have some dumplings. We'll sign a contract, uh, and and we'll get the and we'll work on a business plan to get the house sold. Is that fair? Sure. Glad I turned you around, sir. <laughs> Pleasure. You were you see you were nice to me. You were too nice. <laughs> you were too nice. Go ahead, tack me again. I'll I'll call you. Uh, say hello. Hello. You got a problem. What's the problem? Problem is how come is this Mr. K? Yes, yeah, Mr. Mr. K. Mr. K, how come that beautiful house on Main Street didn't sell? What the hell's going on here? Uh, my name's Cla know, just... my name's Claude Diamond. I'm with Keller Williams Remax Better Homes and Gardens Inc. And I cannot believe I had to call you, sir. Pardon the interruption in your day. I could not believe that beautiful house did not sell. What's going on? I uh, just fell off the market. We just didn't. This is the hottest market we've ever had. Interest rates are low. Empl unemployment is low. Houses in that community sell in minutes because of those uh, because of that nice school district you have and that beautiful park nearby. You, who was your realtor? What was going on? Why couldn't that realtor of yours sell that? Uh, I was one of our friends. She just said, you know, just the marketing wasn't wasn't enough. So you or... don't care who you do business with as long as they're your friends, right? You didn't you didn't have the heart to say no to a friend. I've been in that position myself. Yeah, I mean, you know, just we, we thought she was good. For so if your friend just graduated from medical school and had to do surgery on you to save your life, you'd use your friend instead of a seasoned doctor who's done the operation a hundred times, right? You wouldn't want to uh, hurt. Probably you not. <laughs> you would, well, what's the difference? This is your house, right? The biggest investment you'll ever make in your life. Would you like to work with the best realtor, the best marketing professional in this county? Sure. I'll send you over some paperwork. Uh, or I can bring it over later this afternoon, and um, let's get a plan together and get this house sold. Is that fair? Okay. You're making Sounds this good. too. You're making this too easy, Vic. <laughs> you're making this too. Get mad at me. Dump, right. uh, dump on, dump on me. I don't, I don't want to work with you. You know. I, I you know I what? Like working with the, I hear with that all the time. Agents. I hear that all the time from people who have their houses who who don't want to make money. How come you don't want to make money on your property? I do want to make money. I just I don't I don't want to I don't want to work with realtors. I'm tired of realtors. I don't blame you. So am I. There's a lot of there's a lot of mediocrity out there, isn't there? Yeah, but you know I just no I don't I don't want to. I'd rather do it by myself. I don't blame you. You should you do all your you do your own open heart surgery yourself too, wouldn't you? Saves money. I haven't gotten open heart surgery. Oh, okay. I don't need any surgery. Oh, good. Thank God. Right. But you, but if instead of spend, spending a hundred thousand dollars to to uh, to put your leg back on after it's been amputated uh, in a car accident, you'd do it yourself and save a lot of money, wouldn't you? I've never been in a car accident. Thank God. I hope you never are. Boy, what a dreadful role play. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the point the point of all this is is not to react emotionally to use humor. I use a lot of humor. I a lot of fun. I'll go to somebody, sir, uh, sir. Let's go in another role play, sir. You sound like you're mad at me. Why? Why are you so mad at me? We don't even know each other. This is just my voice. No, okay. It just sounds. Did I make a pass at your <laughs> wife or girlfriend at last year's Christmas cocktail party? What's going on here? <laughs> no. We need to fix. You got a problem, sir. My name is Claude. I'm the doctor of real estate. I fix people's problems, whether it's buying, selling, investing, lease purchasing. If I can ask you a couple questions, you can ask me a few. Then you can then you can fire me if you like. But I think I have a few ideas how to sell your home. Okay. Would it be? It wouldn't be worth us talking for another minute, would it? I mean, if you could do something different than my last agent. When you say different. I mean, they just. 
obviously, you know, couldn't get the house sold. That's why we're selling it ourselves. Why are you selling? How long have you been in this beautiful house? Uh, about 20 years. 20 years. Stay another 20. What's the rush? Just going to downsize. What, what do you mean downsize? I mean, you know, our kid's out of high school, so this is a three-bed. We're probably going to move Stay in it. Make one of the rooms into an office or something like that, or start raising gerbils in one of the empty rooms or whatever. Why downsize? What's the rush? I mean, you know, we're getting older. This is a two-story. We need a single story. So. It's not about the money, having a smaller payment or anything like less taxes or, or getting away from those uh, really high homeowner fees, is it? No. Well, yeah, I mean, that too. Yeah? Okay. So how soon you want to do this? Before the holidays, next year, five years from now? Tell me how fast you want to sell this home, and I'll get you into a new home. Maybe cut your mortgage payments in half, save you a lot of money. And you can use all that equity from your one home to a smaller home. Suppose I could do that for you in the next 90 days. Save you a lot of money, get you into a brand new place. Suppose I could make that all happen. What would you say to me next? I mean, you know, we probably want to, if we're going to do it either before Thanksgiving, if not, then after. Uh, and we better set up a meeting tonight. What's your favorite restaurant? Uh, we'll go to uh, Barlow's. Barlow's. You got it. You and your wife? Uh, yeah. Are, oh, you and your wife are my guests. You got kids? Uh, well, yeah, they're all grown, though. Oh, okay. I was going to say, hire a babysitter. I'll pay for it, too. I'll pick you up at 630. We'll get to meet each other, have a couple drinks, uh, have a, go to Barla's, have a couple uh, things to eat there. We'll get to know each other. We'll sign some paperwork if you're, if you're happy with me. If not, I'll pick up the check and take you home. Fair? Fair. Now, you're a gentleman, sir. I know we started off a little rough. But I think you're going to fall in love with me because I do great job. I do. I really take care of my customers. They're my family. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. See you tonight. Boom. I, I fight for it. <laughs> I fight for it. I fight for it. Here's the trouble. Salespeople give up too easy. They're all chicken shit. you got to <clears throat> fight for it, man. This is money. This is freedom. This is what it's all about. The guy who says to you, well, call me in two weeks, Vic. Well, sir, I mean, you want to sell. I'm real home. busy. I got to pick up my wife, and the kids are at Taekwondo. And um, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just a bad time. Call me in two weeks, okay? okay? Yeah, I understand that. I mean, but you want to get the house sold today, right? Well, not today, but you soon. can sell the house today. Yeah, I could try. Well, I mean, what are you going to do different than the other girl? We're going to do social media marketing. We're going to put your house not. And last year, we're going to make it marketable for the people this year. When you say social media marketing, what do you mean? A drone taking videos and stuff like that? We're going to do drone. We're going to put it on Instagram. We're going to put it on Facebook. What we're going to do is we're actually going to I have a system that allows um, that okay. allows us to see the demographics in your neighborhood. And we're going to uh, push Facebook ads directly to those demographics. So we're going to have good, qualified, ready buyers at your door. Does that sound like something you'd like to do? Okay. I was waiting for the question. So, and, and off the role play. Suppose we could do all these things and make a dramatic difference in the, ma in the amount of people who come to see your beautiful home and we start getting offers. How would you feel about that, sir? I mean, I'd, I'd feel pretty good. What should we do next? I mean, if you want to come and take a look at the house and see what you think. Then... I, I want to come and take a look. I'm looking at your house right now, sir. I have Google <laughs> Maps online right now. I'm seeing your house. I'm looking at the numbers here from the uh, uh, property records online. I think if I come over today and you like me and I like you and I bring over a really great pepperoni pizza, can we sign some paperwork and put together a marketing plan and get this puppy sold and put a lot of money in your pocket? Is that what you want? I um, mean, if I could get four fifty, I'm, I'm not sure what the. What Why the not make it five fifty, but... sir? Even though it's only worth three seventy five. Uh, I mean, if if you get it sold in in the next thirty days, I can't get four we'll fifty. I can't get four fifty, sir. It's only worth three seventy five. The market won't support four fifty. You want me to lie to you or tell you the truth? I mean, if you could do four hundred, can't do, do it. it. It's not worth it. Well, I mean, I, that's I, why I you can't sell it, it, sir. I'm here to tell you the truth. I can get three seventy five. Okay, if I find someone stupid, maybe I'll get four hundred. But it's not likely. People aren't stupid. I mean, I saw the house down the street, so for about 10000 over asking. That's right. That house is 10 years younger than yours. It has a swimming pool, and it's 1,000 feet, square feet larger. It's not apples and apples, sir. You want me to lie to you or tell you the truth? I can lie to you. 
Um, like how that, about we uh, how about we list it for three eighty five, and if we don't get any traction, we'll lower the price. If I was willing to do that, what would you say to me next? We'll go ahead and do go forward. What? We'll go ahead and move forward. You got a deal. That's <laughs> what it sounds like, man. Credibility, honesty, kill, knock them out with you know uh, what what your what the other realtors would say. Oh yeah, let's make it five fifty or five hundred or whatever just to get the listing. And it's bullshit. You don't make any money. No one's going to sell a property that's overpriced. Yeah. Okay, especially if they haven't done their research. You got to be real with people. Got to be honest. Gain their respect. So when you get off the phone, what are you going to say to your wife about me? Uh, he's he's really honest. This guy's great. I love this guy. It's first straight. It's the first straight guy I saw in an unstraight world. Mm -hmm. You know. Every, everybody's a little too light in their loafers, a little too lazy, a little too full of bullshit. Yeah. I want a guy who's straight, who's going to team. The guy talked about social media marketing, getting a plan, taking us out to dinner, bringing over a pizza, hiring a babysitter for the kids so we could have it. Boom. You got to sound different and you got to fight for it. You've got to be the adult in the room and you've got to be positive energy, but you've also, <laughs> but you've also got to end in a question. Sir, if I could do all these things for you, if I could get the property listed, if I could start putting a plan together, start getting people over here to this property, and we get it sold in the next 30, 60, 90 days, what would happen next? We'll go ahead and do business. I appreciate you. I appreciate how quick you came to that decision, sir. You did, you're did. you not going to have any regrets about it either. We're going to get that house sold, and then we're going to get you into a smaller house, a nicer, newer house, in a, in a different location. So we're going to cover the whole thing here. Okay. What a pleasure to do business with you, sir. You're a gentleman. You also you strike me as old school. When you make a commitment, I can cash that check at any bank, can't I? Yep. I knew that about you. Hey, take care. It was a pleasure to meet meet with you. I'll bring over the paperwork at four thirty today with the pizza, and we're gonna get we're gonna get you we're gonna get the house sold and buy and get you into another house too. Okay, sounds perfect. Boom. See you soon. This is what it sounds like, man. This is what it sounds like. You got to fight for it. Yeah, I gotta learn how to how to ask better questions. Ask better. Always ask questions while you're stroking, nurturing. Be empathetic. What are they feeling? What are they thinking? Do you sound like the other ninety nine bozos who called them up, or are you, Mister? Are you Doctor K? Yeah. You are you the guy who you gets the job done? Mm -hmm. My gut, gut salesmen don't sound like anybody else. They study the psychology of human behavior. They use their words like a doctor uses a scalpel. They study social media marketing, so they always are busy. I, you yeah. go, see, we're not, too, we're not busy enough. Mm -hmm. I want you crazy busy. I want you going, oh, God, i got to get up at 4.30 in the morning. i got so much work, so many people to call. I've got five deals that are closing, and this that's how busy you want to get. Mm -hmm. That's how you crush it. That's how you get to six figures a month or more. That's how the one percenters think, act, and sound. Yeah. Very good, sir. Hey, this is a good video. All right. Thank you, Clark. You mind if I use this video? This would be a good training video. Yeah, sure. All right. Good. What? Are, 